Every country has their own set of laws. Some may be acceptable, but others are downright crazy. While there are laws set for the betterment of the country, there are also those that are set to protect children from dumb parents. Here are a few names that you are legally not allowed to give your child. At number 1 is Gesher, also known as Bridge. This one takes place in Norway. In 1994, Norwegian citizen Chrissy Larsen gave birth to her 13th child and decided to give him the name that came to her in her dream and that was Bridge. She then later decided to translate Bridge to Hebrew, which translates to Gesher. Unfortunately for her, the government rejected the name and in 1995, she was told to give the 10-month-old a name from the official list of acceptable Norwegian names. Yes, there's even a list like Odd or Roar. But Larson wasn't too keen on changing it, to which the officials warned her that if she didn't change the name, she was looking at a $420 fine or two days in jail. Larson lost the court case and went to prison rather than to admit wrongdoing. At number 2 is Nutella. Now we know everyone loves Nutella, so why not name our kid after something we love? Well, if you're in France and you love the chocolatey delight, you might have to rethink that decision. Now, they don't have a lot of restriction on names. Up until 1993, they had a list that new parents could pick from, but after that year, they decided to relax a lot. While there weren't many outrageous names, the one that caught the code's attention was the name Nutella. The code ruled that the name would lead to the child being teased and wasn't in the best interest of the girl. While the parents failed to appear in court, the judge ruled that the girl's name be changed to Ella. At number 3 is Vernadi, which is Friday. Here is another day we all love, but Italian officials feel that it should only remain a day in the week and not a child's name. A couple named their son Vernadi, which is French for Friday. They were inspired from the character in Robinson Crusoe. But Friday is a somewhat stereotypical native servant, and the court ruled that the name is connected with subservience and inferiority, and asked the parents to change it, but they decided to define the code and said that they were going to keep calling their son Vernity and would probably name their daughter Wednesday. At number 4 is Stallman or Superman. Some of us love superheroes, and it has crossed our minds of naming our kids after these fictional characters. Sarah Leiston of Gothenburg decided to do just that when her son was born with one arm raised above his head, just like everyone's favorite, Superman. Unfortunately for Sarah, a judge ruled that name was too much like a surname and that it was against the rules in Sweden. This ruling caused a lot of uproar because while Stallman wasn't permitted, names like Tarzan and Batman were allowed. At number 5 is Tallulah does the hula from Hawaii. No, this is not a band's name. Someone actually named their kid this. Tallulah does the hula from Hawaii was born in 1999 in New Zealand and for very obvious reasons was embarrassed by her name. She never revealed her neural name to anyone and just went by the letter K. When her parents got divorced, she was dragged for the court dates along with her parents and that's when the judge noticed her name and found out she hated it. He then allowed her to change her name to whatever she liked and the judge punished the parents for being so irresponsible. Her new name was never released to protect her identity. And number 6 is New Zealand's other band names. Seems like the people of New Zealand are forgetting that naming their child and coming up with a username is completely different. It had gotten so bad that the country had to come up with a whole list of names to be banned. One couple tried to name their child Mafia No Fear, while another couple saw the sonogram of their baby for the first time and realized it was for real and named him For Real. Finally, for unknown reasons, someone tried to name their child Anal. Then there was violence, number 16 bus, shelter, and how can we forget poor Tallulah. At number 7 is Sonora, Mexico's band names. Seems like Mexican officials aren't playing around when it comes to baby names. The state of Sonora released a list of 61 names that were pulled from the baby registry because they deemed inappropriate. Rambo, Robocop, Facebook, Lady Di, 
Marciana, also Martian, Juan Calzo, which means Juan Panties, or circumcisions are just a few. And number 8 is Osama Bin Laden. Now here's one name we will never understand why people would not want to name their kids. Well, a Turkish couple living in Cologne, Germany tried to name their son Osama Bin Laden less than a year after the September 11th attacks. The name was banned because the German government has two very strict rules when it comes to names. It has to clearly identify the person as male or female and it can't be offensive. Coming in at number 9 is Saddam Hussein. Another name you shouldn't name your kids. It seems like these people just want to create controversy. A father in Brazil tried to name his son Saddam Hussein in 2001. Luckily, citing the welfare of the child, the court intervened and told Suarez and get a less dictatorial name. Well, you think he would learn from his mistake, but unfortunately, nine years later, he tried to name another son Osama Bin Laden, and again, the court intervened. And last but not least is Nazi names. There are some names you just cannot name your kid, but Heath Campbell of New Jersey seems to have forgotten that. Campbell and his former wife Deborah, who are avowed Nazis, had three children together. They named their son Antonio Adolf Hitler Campbell, but later dropped the first name because otherwise it just sounded ridiculous. Their daughter was bestowed with Jocelyn Aryan National Campbell, and the third child, again a daughter, was given the name Hanslin Hindler Jean Campbell in honor of Heinrich Himmler. This came to light after a supermarket refused to write the name Adolf Hitler on a birthday cake. The kids were then taken away and the couple separated. So have you heard of any weird and strange names? Let us know by commenting below and subscribe to our channel.